In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you step by step how to create a TikTok video with sound effects using Canva Pro. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. We're gonna go to canva.com homepage and from here we are going to create a video document to create our TikTok video. So let's go to the video section and from here we're going to select mobile video. Once Canva opened the editor, we are going to upload the videos that we want to use on our TikTok. I have a video of myself that I want to use as the intro of the video. So we're gonna go to upload and we're going to select upload media. Once you have selected your file, you're gonna wait until the video is fully uploaded before starting to edit. Okay, my video has been fully uploaded to Canva and now I can bring it to my editing by just dragging the video to this empty page. We're gonna check our video and we're gonna remove some sections because I don't want to use the 8.6 seconds that I have on this clip. So let me double check, I'm gonna play my video. I think this part it's okay but I think it's too long. Actually for short videos like TikToks or Reels or Shorts on YouTube, you would like to be very precise with the information that you want to deliver. So I guess for my intro, I can leave it to three seconds or even less. So let me check. I think this is looking good. Now let's work on the next sections of our video. I'm going to include six sections after the intro. So I'm going to use the videos available in the Canva library. When you go to the left hand side on your screen, you will see the videos section. When you click on it, you will have access to the Canva library and you can also search for specific videos that you want to find. I would like to have some aesthetic videos so let's try by aesthetic and then vertical because I would love to find some vertical videos if possible. In this search result I see this video which looks interesting and I want to see if I can find more videos from the same creator. So I'm gonna go to the three dots and then click on the name of the creator. In here I'm gonna use this video so if I want to add it to my TikTok I just need to drag it to the plus icon. This video is 7.4 seconds long so I'm gonna crop it I guess like around two seconds it will be enough. Now I need to find more videos for the next sections on this TikTok. I'm gonna search for Sunbeam to see what I find. I don't see any vertical video, but still I think we can work with what we have right here. So let me bring these videos to my TikTok video. I just need to keep dragging the videos to this plus icon and then I will crop the length of each of these videos. A very important aspect of what I'm doing in here and I believe you guys remembered from the intro in this video is that I'm using a Canva Pro account. If you pay attention, all of these videos right here have the Pro label. So if you have a Canva free account, you can use these videos and also the sound effects that we will use at the end of the video, but you will have to pay for the license of each of these elements that you will be using that has the crown label. If you have a pro account you will be able to use these videos and the sound effects without having to pay any extra. I have all the sections of my TikTok video ready and before adding the sound effects I would like to add some transitions so after I can see clearly where to insert the sound effects and for the video to look great. I want to add a transition in between every section so I'm gonna start with the first one. Let's go to the plus icon and then add transition. From here I'm gonna use one of the newest transitions in Canva which is called chop. I'm gonna select 
this direction and then the first origin option. I'm gonna keep changing the origin section in every transition so we have a more interesting effect on our TikTok. So let's go to the next transition. Add transition, go to chop. You're gonna select the same direction but this time we're going to select the second option on origin. We're gonna do the same for the next transition. This time we're gonna select the third origin option and for the fourth option, we're gonna select the fourth origin option. Next, for the fifth transition, we're gonna go to chop and we're gonna start over. So we're going to use the same direction and then we're going to start again with the first origin option. And finally, we'll use the second origin option. Now that we have all our transitions ready, we can start adding our sound effects. To add our sound effects, we are going to open the audio section on the left hand side of the page. The first sound effect that I want to use on this video is a blink sound effect because at the beginning of my video there is a section in which I blink, you see here, I'm closing my eyes and then I open them again. I want to add a sound effect in here just to add something interesting to the video. So let's try to find a blink sound effect to see what we find. Okay, so I found this sound effect right here and what I'm going to do here is to find the section where I close my eyes. So here I'm gonna leave this guide in here and then I'm gonna click on the sound effect. My sound effect has been inserted into my video and now I would like to see clearly what is happening on these video editing tracks because this sound effect actually has two blink sound effects in the same file. So let me play and hear what is happening with this sound effect. So I indeed have two sound effects in the same track and I only need one because I blink once. So what I'm gonna do is to cut this audio or to trim it in order to have just one part of the audio. So by selecting the audio track, I'm going to bring one of the edges until you have cropped one section of the sound effect. So let me play again to see if the sound effect is synced with my blinking. Okay, I think it looks nice. It's really fast, so I need to double check again. Yeah, I think this is looking great. And now I'm gonna check the transitions and slowly I'm gonna move this guide until I see the transition appearing on the screen. Once you see the transition appearing on the screen, that is the place where you want to add the sound effect for each specific transition. So the sound effects that I want to add for these transitions are called whip whoosh. In here we have several whip options or whoosh options and I'm gonna add a different sound effect to each of these transitions. So once you have the guide in the position where you want to add the sound effect, you're going to select any of these options. I'm gonna go for the number 10 for the first one and then I'm gonna continue finding the section where each of the transitions begin. So I can see here where the next transition is starting and I'm gonna select a different sound effect. This time I'm gonna use the transition number nine and I'm gonna continue adding the next sound effects. I have finished adding all the sound effects that I want to have on this TikTok and I want to add a song to my video so it is even more engaging and more interesting. 
So let's close this search result and you can select any of the songs that you have available here or you can open any of these sections. For example, if you are interested in pop, you can click see all and then Canva has this search result filtering only pop songs. I'm gonna actually try to find hip hop song and I'm gonna filter the search results by instrumentals. Apply filters. From here, you can listen to these audio tracks before adding them to your design by clicking on this play icon. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one and I'm positioning this guide at the beginning of my video and then I'm gonna click on my song. Once you have inserted the song into your video, I do recommend that you guys play again the video to double check that the song volume is not too high and you can still hear the sound effects that you inserted into the video. If you believe that the song audio is too high, you can select the audio track and then lower the volume from here. Once you have adjusted the volume of your track, you would like to double check once again to see if the sound effects are synced with the transitions on your video. It is a little difficult to double check in here. I believe it is my internet connection, so sometimes I have some delays, but I can kind of see that some of these sound effects are coming before the actual movement. If this is happening on your case, you would like to zoom on these tracks. So let me go closer. And I like to use this trick to move my sound effect. You can use this little hand to move your sound effect but sometimes this little hand doesn't appear on my screen and I only see arrows. If you cannot see this little hand to move your sound effect from one side to the other, you would like to select the sound effect, hit Ctrl X or Command X and then position the guide wherever you want the sound effect to go and then hit Ctrl V or Command V and then your sound effect will go wherever you have left this guide. Okay, let me adjust these sound effects. And now the final touch is to add text to our video. We're gonna go to the text section on the left hand side and add a heading. What I like to do with these text boxes is to go to effects and then hit lift. I like to increase the intensity to 100 so the text is easier to read. And then if you like, you can change the font, the size, the color, and you have so many other text options in here. I have added three different text boxes in here for my outro and I used a different font for each of them. Now I'm going to add a text animation to these text boxes, so I'm going to select them and then hit animate. From here I'm going to select bounce, only on enter, and then as we are using a Canva Pro account we can select either if we want the writing style to be applied as a character or word. I'm going to use the word option. And now we have an animated text appearing on the intro of our TikTok. Now, what I would like to do to save some time is to select one of these text boxes, hit Ctrl C or Command C, go to the next page and then hit Ctrl V. Like this, I already have the same effect on my text box. If you want to have a text effect on this text box, you're going to leave this animation in here. If not, you can remove the animation. I'm gonna leave this text box without an animation because I believe the transition that we have in between each section, it's gonna be already a lot of movement. So 
I have my textbooks and now I'm going to share here the name of this font that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to increase the size of these textbooks and then I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to select the textbooks, Ctrl C, go to the next section and Ctrl V. Now I'm going to change the font and the text inside these textbooks. I have added a textbox to each of these sections and now I'm ready to download my TikTok video. We're going to go to the navigation bar on top, hit share, hit download and then select mp4 video. If you are planning on uploading this video to YouTube, I do recommend that you connect your YouTube channel to Canva so you will click on this link and follow the steps that Canva will show you. Otherwise, you can click download. Another way that you can download this TikTok video is by only using the sound effects and removing this track right here and then later on add the music directly from TikTok and make sure that you adjust the video level with the track so you are able to hear the sound effects that you added to this video. And this is the final result. As I know that you guys are interested in creating unique TikTok videos, I have a tutorial in which I teach you how to create this animation right here. So I'm gonna leave you that tutorial link here in case that you guys are interested. I'm also going to leave the 45 day Canva Pro free trial right here. And I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one. Bye.